Please subscribe this Spiky Tech channel and tap on the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Hi everyone, this is TSM from Wiki Tech. Hey guys, here is the Dell Inspiron 51591 model. So let's remove the back cover and see internal parts of the laptop and also let's to upgrade up the SSD. So there was three screws at the bottom side of this laptop and also there was two more screws at the middle of the back panel and along with there was three more screws at the top side of the back panel but keep in mind these three screws won't come out they will stick to the laptop we just need to lose those two screw three screws but whereas the remaining screws will come out completely now i have already removed the screws now i need to remove the back panel so to free the back cover of the laptop i was using my old useless atm card here to free the back panel of the laptop between the keyboard area and the back panel so we need to put the atm card like this atm card like this and we need to free the separate there was a gap so you we need to make the gap bigger size so we can easily lift the back panel of the laptop while doing this, do it very gentle way, don't push it hard. Now I have free all the areas, now it's time to, and also I want to let you know, here is there was a separate ventilation area here, it's made up of plastic, it was made up of plastic. Uh, it seems a little bit of hard for me to remove, but don't worry, do it gently and careful. And also guys, I was providing a link in the description. You guys can purchase the laptop tooling kit. So with the help of that kit, you can easily remove the back cover. Now I have successfully removed all the screws and also have freed all the areas. Now here we go. Here's the internal parts looks like that. And also guys, we have seen there are the circuits, chips and cooling pipes along with the processors and also fan. It comes with the dual fan guys. This fan is for CPU and this fan is for GPU where there was two separated fans in this Inspiron 7591 model and also we have seen there was the processor i5 chip here i5 processor and it just comes with Wi-Fi chip was built at the top side and if you look at this area here is the chip and here is the micro USB ports type C ports along with HDFC was along in this area and this copper wire sucks the heat and here is the ram there was two slots for ram ddr4 we can upgrade the rams up to 32 gp and here is the wi-fi chip comes out of inside the laptop where you can see here in this area you can use hdd and here is the ssd which comes inside the laptop and and in this area, you can add additional SSD up to 512GP and VME PCIe slot. Additional SSD 512GP can support, you can add in that slot. And also guys, overall the engineering design was completely changed when compared to the old Inspiron 7000 series laptop. It comes with a new design and it supports triple drive expandability. Whereas here three drives was there, one drive is... HDD, it can support up to 2 TB and the remaining two slots support SSD and VMA PCIe up to 512 GB we can add additionally if you wish. Finally, there was a lot of changes in terms of design. So actually here is the SSD which comes inside the laptop but whereas previously I showed by removing this panel but actually there should be a panel to protect the 512 GP so I was opening it and showing it to you right now. While if you're doing this process with by your own just do it carefully and don't rush into the process do it very gentle way because there was all the sensitive parts. So it's better to do it with carefulness. So I have finally removed it and you can see there was a very small chip 512 GP SSD NVMe PCIe slot and here you can see there was another additional screw was attached for this PI chip. If you wish you can remove them and you can add up to your wish. So on the other hand side I have already added additional SSD up to 512 GP and also here is the battery compartment and the CPU Wi-Fi processor there was three parts in the battery compartment you can guys can check out here
where this copper wire sucks the heat from the CPU, which will cools the GPU and the CPU. And here is the final the processor, i5 processor I was using right now. If you wish, you can remove these RAMs and you can upgrade the RAMs. But anyhow, it will support up to 32 GP. You can go for 16 GP plus 16 GP if you wish. But I think 16 GP is more than enough. So here is the Wi-Fi chip. If you wish, you can upgrade to latest Wi-Fi version. Right now, in the market, 6 was going on, I think so. Right? Now here is the hard disk HDD. There was a four screws was available with that. If you wish, if you can upgrade the HDD. This core screws can help you for us. So here is the back cover. So you can see there was a copper wire, copper plate at the, there was a, uh, at the back cover. So it's very careful while you're putting it the back cover again. Just keep it very gentle. Do it very gentle. Way. Otherwise, it may be it may be damaged the motherboard part. So which means you need to change the entire motherboard if it get any damage on any corner of the motherboard. So just be careful while doing it setup. Once you fit the back panel, just press all the edges closely. Make sure if it fitted all the areas, especially this ventilation area at the back side, this plastic setup, do it gentle way. Don't press it too hard. Just put it in a smooth and gentle way is very important. So that's it in this video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. And also, I have already done the unboxing of this Inspiron Sound 5 9 mode model. And also, I was providing my review also. If you don't watch those videos, I was providing the uh, videos in the end card screen. So you guys can check out from the end card screen. Thank you so much guys for spending your valuable time with me. If you don't mind, please subscribe to this channel and tap on the bell icon to do the latest updates. See you very soon. Stay connected. Well, family, take care.